Since 1861, 3,498 people have received the Congressional Medal of Honor. Only one of them was a woman who wore men's clothes, and they took the medal away. Mary Edwards Walker was born in 1832. Her parents encouraged her to wear whatever was comfortable. And for Mary, comfortable meant pants. In the 1800s, that was a pretty big deal. In 1855, she was the only woman to graduate Syracuse Medical College, and she got married that same year. She did wear a skirt at her wedding, with trousers underneath, and she refused to say obey in her vows. She became the first female army surgeon during the Civil War, and was captured by the Confederates, who, of course, tried to make her wear clothing that was more becoming of her sex. She refused. After the war, President Johnson awarded her the Medal of Honor. She continued her crusade for women's rights and dress reform, which often meant getting arrested for wearing men's clothes. She protested, I don't wear men's clothes. I wear my own clothes. In 1917, her medal was rescinded when the government deemed non-combatants ineligible. But in classic form, she refused to give it back. 58 years after her death, President Jimmy Carter reinstated her medal. So Mary isn't just the only woman to receive the Medal of Honor. She did it twice, and she did it while wearing pants and a top hat. You don't have to tell her necessarily a fairy tale about a prince rescuing a princess. Sometimes the princess is able to rescue herself. Pick a little, 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 pick